Hey guys, how you doing? I got a couple DVD reviews I want to go through with you today. Um, the first being Serial Killer Culture. Guys, I got this DVD off of eBay from the producer himself, John uh, Borowski. Hope I pronounced that right. Um, guys, this is season one. Um, and I think uh, I was talking to John through uh, Messenger, and um, he is working on season two right now as we speak. But um, I believe this was also featured on Netflix. But um, yeah, I picked this up off of eBay, and it's a signed copy. You can see it says, To Casey, You Slay Me, which is really cool, autographed. Um, basically I'll read the back to you guys, um, there's, um, in this season one, there's five episodes, you know, like they, like shows, it'd be a half hour each, um, art, studying, collecting, museums, survivors, and murder, serial killer culture TV is an, ep uh, episode, uh, episodic TV show which features intimate interviews with those involved in the serial killer culture community and um, guys this is just great great you know set of shows here the first uh, episode is uh, has to do with Ripley's believe it or not and um, what it uh, mainly focuses on is a serial killer from way back in the day one of the um, his name was uh, Curtin. The last name was Curtin's. The episode's titled Curtin's Head. It's a preserved um, head that's in one of the Ripley's, believe it or not, um, museums. Um, it's pretty, pretty uh, crazy, if you ask me. And then the next episode it has to do with um, John Wayne Gacy and the study of his brain after he was uh, executed. His brain was removed, and um, Helen, Dr. Helen Morrison um, actually studied the brain, and she still has his brain in a mason jar, which is pretty creepy. Um, the third episode is my favorite episode on this whole entire, on this whole entire video. Um, it's um, called Hyena Gallery, and Hyena Gallery, guys, is... Um, you could go online right now and look at it. It's in Los Angeles, California, and uh, Bill Schaefer is actually the owner, and he deals in lowbrow artwork, they call it. It's basically artwork that is, you know, very violent and vulgar, and, you know, not a lot of people are into it. And he also sells um, some uh, serial killer memorabilia. Um, th that's where I got my Jeffrey Dahmer uh, hand signed envelope um, you can remember uh, a few weeks ago maybe a month ago now I did a video on it and guys this is the best part about it in this episode episode 3 in the hyena gallery you know um, Bill actually shows uh, the piece that I bought from him which is the Jeffrey Dahmer envelope uh, signed or um you know, in Jeffrey Dahmer's pen, uh, penmanship. Um, so it's actually displayed in this video um, on that episode. So the one that I have framed right now, I bought from him, which was featured, showcased in this video. That's what I'm trying to say here. So that's pretty cool, just knowing that you know what I have was, you know, a piece of the in the piece of this film here. And then the next video. Uh, our next episode is uh, titled uh, uh, Jonestown Survivor. has to deal with a survival uh, survivor from um, um, Jonestown. Next episode is uh, has to do with Murder Auction. Every day is serial killer culture for MurderAuction.com owner William Harder, who accepts calls from serial killers and also visits them in prison. Um, that website is still, 
uh, active. I was on it the other day. They, um, there's not really too much for sale on there right now. But um, they kind of interview uh, him, which is an episode on its own. And then next, last but not least here, is uh, Merle Allen. Uh, and he was from the band Murder Junkies. His brother was the lead singer, Gigi Allen. Um, and these guys were pretty much um, collectors before it was, you know, kind of a thing. They, they wrote to serial killers and, and criminals, and they um, were doing this before it actually was a thing, uh, before, you know, it kind of turned into this pop culture thing. It's still on the obscure, though. Not a lot of people do collect. Um, but, yeah, so you go through his collection, and he talks about his experiences with it, which is really neat, too. Being a collector myself, it's kind of it's kind of neat to see other people's collections, and especially hear his commentary on the whole subject. <clears throat> so, there you go, guys. That's that. funny part is, I actually contacted John Borowski, and said I wanted, um, being that I bought this one, I knew that he had another one, Serial Killer Culture, which was the movie version, which came out before this one. So I asked him if I could buy this one. He said yes. Well, he got mistakenly sent me another uh, Serial Killer Culture Season 1, and he signed this one to me as well. So then I told him, I said, hey, listen, you, um, you screwed up. You sent me another one of the one I had already. So he says, oh, okay, sorry about that. And he sent me this one. Well, it didn't come right away, so I questioned him. I said, okay, uh, hey, John, where's that DVD? I ordered it like two and a half weeks ago. It didn't arrive yet. He says, oh, okay, I don't know. It must have got lost in the mail. So right after I sent that email, it arrived, and then... A day or two later, another one arrived. So I got all these Serial Killer Culture DVDs, and they're all signed. This one, Casey, I call you killer because you slay me. To Casey, enjoy the killer f film. Okay, guys, and this DVD, the uh, actual movie... Um, I'll just read it back to you real quick, guys. Um, art collecting, tours, and murder. Serial killer culture examines the reasons why artists and collectors are fascinated by serial killers through music, painting, filmmaking, writing, and collecting. Thirteen individuals from around the world are interviewed about creating art and searching for murder murderous artifacts. Um, this is another really cool video, guys. Um, I've already seen this one twice. Um, it's just, it's a good one. They're both good. Um, John also, um, made a, a movie called Fish. It's, uh, Albert Fish, which is a serial killer from back when, um, before John Wayne Gacy's and the Bundy's. And, you know, um, you know, everybody at Dahmer's, um, you had Albert Fish, um, and Borowski made a, a movie on him, too. So you can actually go to eBay, you know, find him on eBay. I'll probably drop a link below. But, yeah, check out his DVDs and videos. Um, like I said, you can get a signed copy directly from him. It's only like $15, something like that. Who knows, you might get lucky, he might send you uh, multiples, <laughs> like he did me. I paid probably, what, $30, $15 each, and I got four DVDs. Not purposely, but, you know, that's just how it turned out. Um, and then in this DVD in particular, in the Serial Killer Culture, um, I, he put in some extras. There's some um, booklets. Yep, he did... Um, here we are, we're just talking about it. Albert Fish, um, The Strange Case of Dr. H.H. H. Holmes, um, and also he put in some pins, there's some collector's pins in there. Okay, there's an Ed Gein um, by the online 
the book. So, <clears throat> there you go. And he also signed and initialed the actual DVD itself, which is pretty cool. So, guys, you know, I just, I gotta give, I gotta give him a shout out because he went above and beyond the Call of Duty with all these DVDs. Um, and they're great films, guys. If you're into collecting or if you're just into, like, watching the ID channel and, like, those type of things, um, you know, this, you might want to pick, pick these up because they're very, they're very intriguing. Um, like I said, I like them. I, I, they're the type that I'd even watch them again. Being that I'm a collector, I think I, it, you know, I like it a little more and I watch them a little more than most people, but I think you'll like it. Um, it's very fascinating, okay? But I'm back here in the old review room with the DVDs behind me. It's glad, I'm glad to be back in here. It's a little, little dusty in here, but um, it's uh, not too bad. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Remember to check us out on social media. I always drop links below for them. Um, and uh, that's, that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm going to go take a nap. I haven't. I worked third shift last night. I've been up all night. I've been up all day. I'm just tired, guys. So I just want to get this video on real quick, and um, you know, I'll talk to you next time. See you next uh, next video. All right, guys. See you.